Hey guys, thanks for checking out our channel at My Weekly Meltdown and our Big Brother 10 rewatch. We had a great time talking with Rennie this week. It was a little choppy at times, so thanks for powering through. Uh, there were some technical difficulties with the video, so that's why we're doing audio only this week. But we will be back next week, the four of us, to talk about the double eviction in Big Brother 10. So stay tuned uh, Wednesday at 8, like always, and we'll see you guys next week. Thanks. Bye. Hello everyone, I'm Allison and welcome to my weekly meltdowns coverage of the rewatch of Big Brother 10 episode 16 through 18. We have legend Rennie Martin with us tonight who just happened to be HOH that week and we're going to talk about what I wish I had some Godfather music playing in the background right now but I don't but before we get started um we just wanted to take the time to acknowledge unfortunately we lost someone uh you guys know we're very active and actually came together through the sequester community that Audrey Middleton started and we lost a family member, Cameron Olson, from uh, the live the live action version of Sequester season three. Her father passed away suddenly uh, Sunday evening. His name was Chuck Olson. He was a huge supporter in the Sequester community. He was an amazing man. He sent me random messages at times talking about how great we were doing with our show and he had a love for my cat Finley, um, which is always good. But uh, with that being said, Cameron, we love you very much, sweetheart, and your father, Chuck, will not be forgotten. He was an amazing man, if anyone wants to add anything to that real quick. Yeah, I mean, he messaged me a few times just like talking about Sequester, Survivor, Big Brother. Um, so I know that he's watching uh, from above uh, down here uh, since we do have the legendary Rennie Martin with us. So I know he, I know he's uh, smiling ear to ear watching us and watching us talk uh, some Big Brother. Um, so um, unless uh, Beth and Alex had anything to say before we... Uh, moved on. Um, I just want to echo what Allison said. We're we're all thinking of the entire Olsen family, and uh, our hearts are with you guys. Absolutely. Yeah. Same thing. I mean, uh, the Olsen family has been incredibly supportive of Sequester, of of my weekly meltdown, and uh, to lose Chuck is to lose a great light in the community. So, um, you know, our thoughts and prayers are are, are with them and their family. Yeah. Yes. And so with that being said, uh, Rennie, how are you? Welcome to the show. Hi. I don't know if I will leave this headband on. <laughs> you look great okay. either way. Okay. Uh, we are so happy to have you. Um, are you still in New Orleans, Rennie? What's what's uh, what's going on in Rennie's world? Uh, I'm in New Orleans. Nice. And there's coronavirus. <laughs> A lot of coronavirus. Yeah. So can't do too much right now <laughs> without a. You can't go out in the outside without a mask or enter a store without mm -hmm. a mask. Yeah. Well, we hope uh, everybody is uh, staying safe there in New Orleans. Uh, I actually visited New Orleans uh, last year uh, to shoot a wedding, and I had so much fun. And I was thinking about you because I'm such a big fan of Big Brother 10. Um, and I just I can't believe we, we get to have you here on the show. So uh, we're specifically talking about your HOH week this week. Um, Beth here with us has not seen Big Brother 10 before. She's watching it for the first time. Uh, so she, the only thing she's spoiled on is that Dan wins. She doesn't know anything past, uh, your HOH week in taking out April. Um, so we're excited to talk all things, uh, your HOH and maybe some fun stories about, uh, the, the beginning few days with all that stuff with Jesse. Uh, so, so many things that we can get into. <laughs> Um, so, of course, we, we started with you uh, winning that HOH. You said uh, Jeopardy style. You were like, who's Brian? <laughs> and Julie said, congratulations, Who Rennie. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> um, so right when you won that HOH, um, we saw you get like a little a, a little emotional. We saw you uh, really kind of retract and be like, wow, like this is a big moment for me. And I feel like uh, you really turned your game face on this week. Was April your target like right from the get-go? 
when when uh, uh you mean when when she was on the she was hoh yeah so uh right when you won hoh was was april like your target right away oh yeah what was it about oh, april oh, that uh made her like a big absolutely. player yes, absolutely living in that house with that woman <laughs> <laughs> What was it about April? She, was, she she was like not so. They said I, they said I was nuts. Oh, oh please, oh, it was crazy. I need I definitely needed to get her out. Okay, I thought I I, I didn't have all my peanuts in one bag, but she definitely did. <laughs> yeah, I love it. And, I love and it. anything I'd cook, she'd throw away afterwards. <laughs> Why would she throw it away? Yeah, like my sauce was too hot. <laughs> no, please. I didn't care for her. Yeah. I, I didn't. I didn't care for her when she let that uh, the old man grab her boobs mm. like the first night. Yeah. <laughs> I, he, he, he loved it. <laughs> <laughs> She was. Uh, why are y'all laughing? <laughs> <laughs> she was a oh, fierce competitor. It's so true. Yeah. Randy, you're amazing. You're everything that we hoped you would be. <laughs> <laughs> we were saying earlier in our coverage, Renny, that, um, you know, they don't cast big brother characters like you anymore they don't i mean you are so genuinely yourself in everything that you say in the diary room or in in the moment with other people is is you yeah i meant it and <laughs> we love that and that is exactly why like for someone like me who has only really watched the newer seasons and this is one of the seasons that i'm watching for the first time i'm like oh this would be amazing to see all the time. I mean, there's only one Rennie, of course, but it would be great to see people who are just so genuinely themselves the way that you are. Um, do you still keep up with Big Brother? Do you still watch it? I'm thinking if I... Oh, I'm thinking if I put my microphones in this phone here, would it be better? Yeah, you could try that if you want. Try it, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. This is amazing. I love her so much. Who's the who, who's the who's the woman? In, uh, Big Brother. Uh, that's me. Uh, Beth. I haven't I haven't watched uh, the Big Brother seasons before. They turned them. Yeah, excuse me. My husband's watching TV. <laughs> he can he can tell y'all hi. Just a second. Yeah, okay. sure. This is so much fun. Here, here, just tell them hi for a second. Turn that low. I'm doing. I'm Patrick. If you can see me. Hi. hi. How are you? Doing? <laughs> How are you? No. <laughs> Say something again, Patrick. Nice to meet what? you. I'm the Irishman that was lucky to marry you. Hey. hey. Nice yeah. to meet you, Patrick. Hi. Did he say lucky? Yeah. <laughs> Very lucky. Okay, I'm going to try now. Okay. I'm going to try now. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> Let me see if I hear something. All right. Uh, can yeah. you hear us right now? Y'all there? Yeah, yeah. Can you hear us? That, let me see. Is this better? Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. Okay. It sounds good for us. Do we sound okay to you? Can you Does hear us, Bunny? talk? Something. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hey, can you, can Hello? You hear us, Hello? Hello? Okay. <laughs> I think this is better. Good. Yes. Yeah, perfect. perfect. I think this is ears. And the chat is saying that Rennie's volume just got better, so that's a good thing, too. Yeah, okay. I think we're all set, Rennie. I think we're good. Can you hear us okay? Me. Hey, Rennie, can you hear us? 
I can hear y'all. Okay, okay. Good. perfect. Well, good. We well, can hear you too. Rennie, we were just wondering, do you still keep up with Big Brother? I'm sorry, you will what? Do you still keep up with Big Brother? Do you still watch it? See, y'all are breaking up. Let me pull us out. <laughs> y'all are breaking up. Let me see if I can. Okay, say again. Do you still watch Big Brother? Do you still keep up with it? Yes. Oh, huh? good. Good. Cool. Do, how do you feel you would, um, how do you, how would you fare in the house nowadays with the way things have kind of changed? How would I, how would I what? How, how do you think you would make it in the, in the house now, the way things have changed and it's just a whole different kind of game. It, it's kind of evolved in the last 12 years. How do you feel about it? And would you, do you think you could, you could make it with the people you now? Mean, uh, oh, oh, when you go in the house? Yeah. When you go in the house? Uh-huh. Would things, would things be different? People will I think we're, uh, we keep losing they're her. They're jerks. They're <laughs> <laughs> It's true. It kind of reminds me. I think you'd have That's a lot way. of Jessies. Jess, Jesse. Yeah. So it'd be like a lot of Jessies where you'd have a lot of the yeah, kind of like feeling of entitlement in the house, right? Don't you think? A lot of 20 somethings. What about the house? It's um, younger now. It's yeah, like generally younger, younger you know, like it's a lot of kids like Jesse. Ronnie, can you hear us okay? What are y'all? <laughs> um, uh, hey. Ask her a question. Like if you got on the phone with her and then asked her the questions on the phone and she just talked into the camera. Okay. Um, so yeah, let me do that. Here's my phone. Rennie, do you keep in touch with Jesse? Are you? I'm going to call her. I'm going to mute my mic and call her. Okay. okay perfect. Cool. I think that'll work fine. If yeah, we'll, we'll figure this out. Yeah. I can just, yeah. I have faith. Hello, Tyler. Hey, Remy. Um, so I think you, you're having some audio issues. This is great. This was great stuff anyway. So. She's so yeah. good. I love her so much. I love Renny. There's yeah. like literally nothing that could go wrong with this. Like I, <laughs> this is perfect. No. Yeah. Anything we could get is great, man. Renny just does it. I mean, she doesn't do these interviews. You know what I mean? I know. Like, she's I think, not, I think she's she not on the podcast circuit making the rounds like some of these people. So it's, yeah, no, it's amazing yeah. to have her. There's going to be some technical issues sometimes, but there's, a, there's always something going on. And if you're listening to the okay. podcast without so Renny's here on my phone, I'm holding my phone up to the mic. So let's uh, let's try this again. Um, nice. So Renny, we were just asking you, um, how much do you keep up with uh, Big Brother these days? Well, these days it's not on, is it? Right now. Yeah, but like, it had, did you watch like last season, for instance? Like, how much are you keeping up with the show? Yeah, I, I always watch the show. Mm. You so you're like still a big fan? Yeah, I'm a big fan. Yeah. Um so who else from Big Brother 10 do you uh do you still keep in contact with? Nobody. Nobody? <laughs> Not even Jesse? Not even Cooper? Well, <laughs> one, one person. Just one person? Is that uh Michelle? Michelle. Yeah. Michelle. We talk uh, sporadically and then we went to the they had a uh a big brother party up there with people. Right. Yeah. So I was I was involved with that, but that was that was too much fun. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I remember I was at that party, but I think I left before you got there because didn't you miss your flight or something? I missed it five minutes, but the house that everybody stayed in. That was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I bet there's some crazy stories there. Um, so let's let's talk about uh, Big Brother Ten a little bit because uh, I want to talk about your HOH week and how um, we how you targeted April. Um, so I was wondering, like, since you didn't put April and Ollie up together, were you getting uh, pushback from other people in the house for that? Getting were you getting like were people mad at you for not putting April and Ollie up together? Yeah. And what was the main reason for not putting Ollie up? Uh, because um, I didn't want to. I, I liked it. Yeah. Um, so say like say like Ollie wins the veto that week and takes off April. Well, he uh, gave him a chance. Yeah. He gave him a chance. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so say like April or say Ollie wins that veto, the stay and fold veto, and he takes off April. Uh, right. Who would who would you put up in that situation? Um, let's see what. Probably Dan. Dan. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Were you how how much were you on to Dan and like how much he was doing in the house? Well, I mean. Uh, two men that spend that long of time, time in a pool. I mean, they're not just playing rubber ducks. <laughs> 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 you talk like eight hours, come on. <laughs> you mean like Dan in Memphis? Yeah, I was like, I mean, I used to tell Keisha all the time. Yeah. She didn't, she didn't believe it, though. She, she, she believed in that deal. Mm hmm. And but you saw that like Dan and Memphis were were uh, I think they they called themselves like the Renegades starting this week is when they like really started uh, solidifying their alliance and and uh, and everything like that. Um, and of course they they wanted to bring you and Keisha in on that. But did you guys feel that like they were more close to each other than like equally alliance with the four? Well, no, well actually they were using her. Mm. Because they would never, never talk about a thing. But they, they were using her as far as they could take her, like they used everybody else. Yeah. And um, were, did you try telling Keisha that? Like, was she uh, listening to that? I'm sorry, say again, Tom. Um, and did you try telling Keisha that, uh, yeah, like. She, she didn't believe. Mm. Um, one, one only wants to believe, but they think. Is the right thing in their mind, and they don't see it. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> if you're not winning the details of the competition, you're, I mean, you're, you're, you're out, right? <laughs> right, absolutely. Which is why I think like your competition was so crucial. I mean, like, especially since uh, who was taken out in the round before this? Libra. Uh, so, like, the, the alliances were really, like, at each other. Did you say Libra? Yeah. So, Libra was, uh, you said, like. <laughs> well, we. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, we saw like a few times her and April would like really be talking really bad about Keisha right in front of you, uh, and they had to know that you and Keisha were really close at this time. <laughs> um, but. Why couldn't you use it? You don't think I paid her any mind, do you? <laughs> no. <laughs> it, must, it must have taken, like, I don't know how many, how many times to fill it up. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that right? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I mean, um, so, 
Uh, I don't know where to go from here. Let me so, let me ask Tracy Allison. The, oh, Beth has a question for you. Yeah. So Tracy Burke in the chat wanted to know if Rennie's ever been asked to return as a host for comps or anything like that on Big Brother. Well, I was. Uh, uh, I did get a call for when they had uh, the coaches. Mm -hmm. Just, uh, mm -hmm. just that all they said was to sit tight. It was during that time. But then they never called me again. So. Mm. Have you um have you heard any rumors about uh Big Brother All Stars this year? I've heard of not really. I've heard rumors about the uh all stars this month. Yeah. Um, <laughs> who else has some questions for Ray? I've got a, I've got a question. Um, I want to know more about like the relationship between you and Jesse early on, and like how that ended up like getting you guys in trouble with Jerry. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> hey, Patrick. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Alex. Just say, yeah, I mean, how just that whole dynamic of how, like, early on that situation with you and Jesse ended up getting you targeted by Jerry, like. Just kind of talk us through all that more. Like, what really kind of went down there? Uh, so we just wanted to hear more about that first week in the Big Brother house, how Jesse was really targeting you early on, um, and Jerry nominating you and Jesse together after that fight. Walk us through that first week. <laughs> Did you guys like talk after the season after the season was over at all or no? What? Did you guys talk after the season was over or like was was your feud like pretty in the house and then that's it? Um, <laughs> can you hear me okay, Renny? Okay. Um, so we were just asking about that first week in the house, right? When uh, when um, Jerry nominated you and Jesse together and you guys were in that fight. Uh, did you like walk us through that first week in the house and how that was? Uh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But did you feel that people were kind of, uh, uh, avoiding uh, talking to you because they didn't want like a target on them since you were nominated that first week? People are saying they can't really hear her, Tyler. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, let's see. Can, can you hear us okay, Renny? Okay. Anybody here? Yeah. Uh, so we were just talking about uh, that first week in the Big Brother house. Um, we wanted to hear your thoughts on, on all of that. I'm sorry, Renny? I think we're having some trouble hearing you, Renny. Uh, we, can't, we can't really hear you. Hey, Renny. 
Rennie, um, we can't hear you. Um, so I think, can we try for like another week to possibly do an interview with you? And maybe we can work out the, the technology stuff. Rennie? Nope. Uh, I'm, uh, hey guys, I'm going to talk with Rennie off air for a second. I'm going to take us out. You guys can talk about this week, okay? okay? Cool. Okay, that works. We can um, do a little bit more of a uh, review of the week and everything, but thank you for everybody for sticking with us. Yep. That, uh, this is the hard when this we're is trying live to show as an element of live shows, right? Especially yeah. when you have guests coming on that are not like typical interview guests. Like that's the, that's the catch 22 of like getting the big brother house guests. Nobody ever hears from, right? It's like, they don't often have the setup to do the interview. So we try to figure it out as best we can. And I'm sure, you know, we'll be able to talk to Rennie at a, a later point and we'll figure itself out. Sorry. Well, um, no, you, hey, Beth, walk us through this episode real yes. quick. <laughs> okay. So this week we saw um, Rennie obviously is HOH and um, she decides that she wants to go after April. Uh, where everybody thinks, okay, well, April and Ollie are connected. They're a showman. They're obviously best friends. Like we need to separate them out for strategic reasons where most people would maybe put Ollie and April up next to each other. Rennie actually has a conversation with Ollie in the HOH room and says, hey, when are you going to get your head in the game instead of just being a follower of April? Like, do you care about the game or do you only care about the showman's? And Ollie's able to convince her, no, I really care about the game. And as much as it would be awful to say goodbye to um, April, I, this is a game I'm playing for myself. So she <laughs> is, I'm playing the Godfather music for, for Rennie. So it's like, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I've turned it up a little bit. It's so subtle. Is that okay? There we go. It's better. Perfect. Rennie's so angel. she decides that she doesn't want to put Ollie up because she likes Ollie. And instead, um, she puts up Jerry, who was also in that threesome on the other side of the house. So that confuses everybody. Like, why wouldn't you put up Ollie in April? Because if Ollie gets to play in the, in the veto competition, and spoiler alert, he does. If he wins the veto, he saves himself and he can take April off, in which case one of the other people have to go up. And then it's not a clear cut um, majority of people voting for uh, who's going to go home, whether it be Jerry or in this case, probably Memphis um, or maybe even Dan. Man, she, she really had a thing for Memphis. Like yeah, she, she really started to go after Memphis this week, and on a person, I should not really say a personal level, but I, I in, a, in a game level, right? I really threatened by um, by Memphis, and especially yeah. especially because he was very close with Keisha, uh, which is interesting to see that that was exactly the issue that April had with mm -hmm. Keisha, and Libra even had with Keisha. So I don't know how much of that. Um, I at least interpreted beforehand when it was April and Libra being more of like, sometimes I felt like that might be a jealousy thing. Like she's made, able to make these connections. I don't think it was a jealousy thing with Rennie. I think oh, Rennie no, was actually no. playing really shrewdly um, in this situation. Um, so what we end up seeing then is uh, the veto. Well, they had the food competition and it was two teams put up like, <laughs> against each other and they do basically like a rock paper scissors competition yeah. but they have to do it with three different disgusting meals so one was uh, a plate full of crickets one was a bowl full of slop and then the third one was uh pig's ears and so one would beat the other and if you could correctly beat the other one then you had to eat a plate of the thing that you had put down to win in order to give your team a point. And if you, your team got the most points, then you weren't going to be on slap for the week. And poor Jerry loses the competition, gets on slap. So he's been on slap for a 26 out of the, I don't know how many days, 54 or something like that. It was, it's 26 out of 44. But like he told Julie, something, you know, when she asked him about being on slop, he said, well, sometimes you just have to take your medicine and swallow it. He said it, his words. <laughs> Not mine. When it comes to being on swap, you need to take your punishment, his punishment, and just swallow it. Yep. <laughs> 
So we see nothing really big other than that really comes out of the food competition. Um, we see uh, the, the veto competition. Ollie is chosen to play. It is the higher, lower stay uh uh, competition and Jerry comes out to an early lead. He wins two of the first uh, uh, rounds. Yeah. And if he had stayed in the third round, he would have just won and brought himself off the block. In which case, Rennie would have had to put somebody up. Not really sure if she would have put up Ollie. I think I'd like to think she would have, but I don't know if she would have. I think she would have gone for Memphis. She just said Dan. I think she would have. Oh, Dan. Yeah, yeah, that's what. Did you hear that? When her, I, did. I mean, you know, obviously Sorry. it's uh, it's retroactive, but I I believed her when she just told us Dan. Yeah, no, I, I believe did ask her that. So I think that it would have been interesting in yeah. that situation to see like if Dana got up on the block. Um, but what ends up happening is Dan makes a valiant effort, comes back, wins the veto, um, which is the first competition he's won. It's the first one that he claims that he hasn't thrown. I'm still not convinced that he was throwing all the competitions in the very beginning, but that's okay. Um, so he um, decides not to use the power of veto, but something that I thought was really great on his part, and this is where I'm starting to see a lot of the Dan mist, the, the Dan causing chaos stuff coming through that people have always talked about. I think this is probably a, a prime example of this. One of the arguments that April brought to him was, I've got some money that I could offer you. Um, oh, that's no. the only thing I really could offer besides the fact you have my word and Ollie's word that we won't put you on the block. Whereas Jerry only has his word and he just insulted the shit out of you last week. He's much more, less trustworthy for you than the two of us are. She but made I, him an I, offer. He refused. I can make you an offer, right? So he um, decides not to use the power of veto, but he does expose, Hey, one of you decided to try to sweeten me up with some money and you know, with my background as a teacher and my, you know, working class town, that was a consideration. But I've decided not to use the power of veto. And he does that because everybody knows that both Jerry and April have money to give to people. So you don't know who. Exactly. But we know, so but they don't know. way to just make everybody start not trusting April or Jerry, get a conversation going and, uh, and kind of take the attention off of him even though he's involved with that, but it's he's not the center of it anymore. Get the attention off of him, stir the pot, make people not trust each other, and then he's con um, still considered to be the swing vote for the week. Well, they find out that they're not going to have all the votes, and April goes, um, instead of trying to make some kind of valiant effort to get uh, Dan to come over with Michelle and Ollie uh, to vote for Jerry. But we see April go, the only vote against Jerry is Holly, which makes sense. And the last thing we see is a, uh, like the kind of like the slamming each other into the, well, not each other, but like the big brothers slamming them into the wall while they're holding onto a vine uh, and it's raining and all that kind of stuff, kind of HOH competition. I don't know who wins uh, because it's for next episode. Um, but that was kind of the week in a nutshell. Um, one thing that I do want to point out that I really enjoyed and they talked about it on the live show with, or Julie did was I really enjoyed seeing a kind of serious game playing side of Rennie for this week. Yes. And I also really enjoyed um, seeing her such a, her emotional reaction to seeing her parents. Uh, oh, that, was, that got me. I, I cried. Like it was a very tangibly beautiful moment and I just sat back and it you know I think a lot of us just take these players at face value because that's like what we see with them but mm -hmm. it was pretty amazing to see her have uh just like a very genuine human emotional moment and I think that those moments of vulnerability are the things that I really like the most in these kind of games I, I loved that she she talked about her parents and how um great they were uh she bernie and curtis her parents uh they raised one hell of a lady you sure know did. and she went but she did tell julie julie asked her you know you were serious and and renee was like yeah i'm serious when i'm hoh but the funny cracking up is what's really me you know 
Yeah. And I like that. That's kind of, I felt like, uh, look, I'm goofy and like to have. Hi. Hi. Hey. Hey. Really? All right. <laughs> hey, Renny, can you hear us? Renny? Um, unmute your mic on the on the stream yard. We can do it for her, see if she if she muted herself, I don't think we can. Hey, Renny. I'm trying to unmute her, but it's not good. Can't unmute you. Okay, there you go. There it is. Okay. Hold on a second. All right, Tyler. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. We we have Renny back. Um, Renny, um, instead of going back and forth and asking uh, questions. Talking about my week, right? Talking about my week. Mm -hmm. Or no? Yes. yes. Or no? So go ahead and talk about your week as HOH, Renny. Tyler? Yeah, we can hear you. Hey, Renny. Oh, no. Okay. Um, I, I just kind of felt like, you know, I if I were HOH, you know, I'm goofy. I like to have fun, but I would have been serious, too. I felt like there yeah. was Godfather music playing in my background as well. Because you Alex, need what did you think of? Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. I was just going to say, Alex, you know, what did you think in this change of Rennie for this week? Like, um, do you remember what you felt like when you watched the season for the first time? And is there anything you've noticed different? This yeah, so I, feel, I feel like because it's spliced in with all these crazy antics and moments and the that's inappropriate type stuff that like there's a lot of. Hey, Tyler. Hey, um, so I have Rennie here on the phone. We're just going to have her cool. talk about her HOH week uh, okay. via my phone on speaker uh, into the mic, okay? Uh, so Rennie's here uh, on my phone. So Rennie, go ahead and uh, give us the scoop okay. about your okay. HOH. Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. So anybody want to know any answers to any questions before I start? Um, no, go ahead. We just want to hear your perspective on uh, on your great HOH win. Into the HOA room, I first of all, I didn't, I didn't think I was going to win anything. Yeah. <laughs> the, way, the way that things were going for me, mm -hmm. like seriously, like when I was in the car, you know, remember the the Beetle car? Yeah. <laughs> with, uh, uh, what's his name? Memphis. Memphis. Yeah. Yep. Michelle was in the car, and, and then uh, Michelle's in the car. They were gonna break my leg. They could break my leg to get me out of that car. <laughs> so I decided that they they, they I could just still be in that car. But, so anyway, that happened to me and then the, when they played the clown music the finding the like they had so many brown pillows suggesting <laughs> on that bed. And like none of never mind. Like <laughs> back to my own when I saw my mother and saw, uh, saw this photo, I just oh, I just started crying. So yeah. 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 We were just talking about that on the podcast. Because we're in in that house and you gotta listen to these show yells all day, every day, three, four o'clock in the morning. And you know, people are People are conniving, of course, that's the game, whatever, but trying to make friends with you, and they're really not your friends in the end. Yes, really, I get some reality in reality, mm -hmm. because with Keisha, I did care for Keisha, like, like since she was my daughter. Yeah. That was how much I cared for her, but then that blew up when I went in the HOH room because she stayed with those guys. Mm. The upstairs, it got all up in, uh, uh, in the beds with them and you know, she wanted to move with them. They all wanted to move together. So, anyway, that's the way that was going. And Dan was telling her one thing, Memphis was telling her another thing, and in the end they just, 
y'all need to write. Mm -hmm. So, um, so someone in the chat was asking if Rennie was immune to Dan's mist. You want to ask her that? Yeah. yeah, but you had your own agenda of like who you wanted to go up, right? Now, do you think, um, do you think Keisha was being more influenced by Memphis or by Dan? Dan. Dan? Were you on to Dan's, like, uh, Dan's missed, uh, his, like, good gameplay? Like, were, how on to his, uh, his gameplay were you? Like, were you really uh, keeping an eye on him? Like, did you think he was as good of a player as he ended up being? Oh, yeah, because, I mean, first of all, he was good in competition, so I mean, mm -hmm. and then he, he, he fell for his, uh, he would do, uh, Rennie, thanks for thanks for giving us a little uh, inside scoop about uh, your HOH week and everything. And um, I, I think we were breaking up when we first asked, but you said that you keep in touch with Michelle out of everybody in the cast. Yeah, like periodically she'll send me something or uh, tell me something, and I'll respond to it. Yeah, yeah, Michelle's a sweetheart. We had her on last week, and she was such a such a joy to talk to. <laughs> She was on the computer. Yeah. Well, yeah. once your computer we'll have to have you back, once you get that set up. Yeah, yeah, we'd love to have you back once everything's uh, uh, back up and, and running. But um, Rennie, I think we're gonna I think we're gonna end the interview now. But I wanted to say thank you on behalf of all of us yes, for taking you. the time and uh, and advertising for the show and everything. It really means a lot to us. Okay, y'all become a, a friend on Facebook, Twitter. Yes, Instagram. definitely. Yes, <laughs> sounds good. Okay. <laughs> all right, love you. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Rennie. Bye, Renny. Yeah, we'll we'll definitely have you back. Okay, have a great rest of your evening, and uh, say hi to Patrick again for us. Okay, tell everybody what I said. Okay. Okay, we cool. I will. Bye bye. All right, bye. All right, guys, there you have it. Uh, sorry for all the technical <laughs> delays, but of course, well, what a what a gem in the Big Brother world. I'm glad we got to hear uh, even just a little bit. Thanks for uh, everybody's patience as we got through that. Um, I know Beth has to run pretty shortly. Um, and Alex, I wanna, after Beth leaves, I wanna talk about some Big Brother 22 stuff, um, if that's cool with you. Um, but Beth, uh, give us your prediction. Uh, who do you think is gonna win this HOH and who do you think is going home? 
I've been doing a lot of thinking about this, and I've been thinking about who I've seen won the, win these kind of competitions, whether it's the one that goes in a circle and they hit something along the wall, or if it's like the uh, part one of the final HOH of BB-17 that Vanessa wins. And I was trying to think of like, what kind of person typically wins this? And it tends to not be bigger, stockier people. So I'm a, I'm concerned for like an Ollie or a Memphis Um and I got thinking about it and I was like, I don't know if Dan's going to want to win this. He made it sound like he was already in the process of setting up that he was going to lose. So I could see Michelle winning again. I could see um, Keisha. Um, I think that, I think it's going to be Michelle or Keisha. That's my thought process um, on that. And if Michelle wins, I think that she's going to go after like Dan and Keisha. Um, and if maybe, I don't know. And then if, um, and if it's Keisha that wins, I think that she'll put up Ollie and Jerry. Okay. That's yeah. well, the process. <laughs> well, there you have it. I mean, it's it was a pretty standard uh, Big Brother week. It, it, unanimous vote, take out the showmans and everything like that. Um, so, Beth, I know you have to run, but uh, thanks for uh, thanks for hanging in there while we troubleshoot it. No problem. And you know, everyone in the comments, thank you much so much for like hanging in there with us. It wasn't the best like technology stuff set up ever, but we were just so thankful to have Renny come onto our show and one. Oh, technology is better and we'll have her again in the future. Uh, I will, I will also get, a, I'm going to leave. And that way, if you guys want to discuss things discuss that are past things. this episode, you can, <laughs> um, and we'll go from there. Cool. But bye guys. Have a good All one. Right. Take care, guys. And I want to give Tyler a huge one. Good job, buddy. Dude, if I had a little it's a, trophy, that's a tough situation. Do. Yeah, that's really hard to handle <laughs> on live air. I tried. <laughs> I've been there, man. It's, it's very difficult. I yeah. Know walking through my mom and no, if, and I'm not being deserved, but it's like trying to walk your mom or something through. And it's just like, okay, just let me do it. I, w I wish someone could have set it up for her. Yeah. Well, I, I spent a little time with her earlier. Um, yeah. it, it, like I was saying, it brings me back to my old days of working at Apple, um, helping people through mm -hmm. some technology That's stuff. Important. So um, yeah. I have a lot of patience for that stuff. So uh, as long as you guys are yeah, yeah, and really, yeah, it's it in there, and uh, she uh, she did a good job with uh, talking about her HOH week. Um, but Alex, I want to talk while you're here. We're about all micromanaging. I've got dogs terrified of fireworks. I'm trying to comfort while I'm live. I mean, <laughs> Just what it is. Okay, oh, yeah. and I also I wanted to add. I really hope Beth uh, was able to yeah. selectively screen any spoilers that Rennie dropped there. Did you see my face? She's like, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> ooh. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I tried Please to steer, steer that ship more. Away. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, Alex. Um. Do we have any Big Brother 22 updates? I know there's been some rumblings on Twitter since we last talked a couple of weeks ago about it. Yeah, I kind of share everything anyone's given me. I mean, you know, I, I try not to. It's 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 tough, man. It's like a, it's a tight rope because, like, I do have a few people who are telling me stuff. But if I'm just like sharing everything that they share with me. Right. Immediately, then, you know, CBS might like, you know, find out who it is in house that's like a problem and they might lose their job or something. You know what I mean? I don't want that. Like, it's all it's all a very delicate balancing act. And I just at this point, I'm just, you know, everyone's messaging me like I'm just ready for CBS to drop something like, dude, yeah. I am the most ready for CBS to I'm drop. Ready for a date. I, ready for a date. I tweeted something about All Stars like I scooped us weekly by a day. So if I wanted it to matter, I had to tweet it when I did. But it was like late May, dude. I've been like this person standing alone on a mountaintop, like screaming that this thing is real for with no proof for now, like um, over a month. And I'm starting to feel like a crazy person. So I really wish they would just hurry up. And but like yeah. if you go to the CBS website today, like, mm -hmm. you know, how like the CBS.com is like four featured shows. And it's never Big Brother. They don't care about Big Brother. Today, it's Big Brother. Big Brother mm -hmm. is like one of the featured. It's like, yeah. dude. That says something like there's a variety article today where they interview Rich Meehan and Grodner and people are talking about past seasons. They never even acknowledge past seasons. Like right. look at read the read the read the signs. They're there. You know what yeah. I mean? I just basically my understanding is like hopefully something, you know, like I know there's like a, a show tomorrow night that like there might be a, a promo or Friday. Like I was I was told we'll get some kind of promo by the end of the week. 
And then I just heard that, you know, like whatever that block on July 12th is at eight o'clock that like currently just seems to be like a blank slate on CBS's schedule. It's like a, a TBA in the middle of a programming schedule. Yeah. Wow, um, somebody that same. Somebody told me that that's, well, it's probably not a premiere. I think the 12th is probably going to be something along the lines of like a, um, a house reveal, maybe like having former players on to discuss past seasons to remind you who these people are. Like, remember That's when, uh, you know, Survivor just did Winners of War and they had this panel, right? Ahead That's of right. Minute, and this like episode that reminded you who all the winners were and why you should care about them. You know what I mean? And if you're going to do returning players, I think you need a special like that. And I think if they're shooting for late July, which is like, you know, the dates I'm actually seeing are like, you know, 22nd, 29th, stuff like that as possibilities. I don't, you know, those are just, unconfirmed nobody's like told me that that's just what's floating around out there but if that is the case then i think the 12th would make sense as like a teaser to just like let's you know what i mean but i think like once you enter july like cbs has to start acknowledging this stuff man it's like we're we're at the we're at the crucible i know like you know it makes sense that it's it is weird that they wouldn't have done it yet but again like if they've been going back and forth about whether or not this will happen all this time about whether or not they have a date locked up. It makes sense that they've been quiet all this time. And then if it's the only show, you know, like if it, COVID is getting worse, like I'm in LA, it's, it's really bad. I just, the latest thing I read was 1% of the globe's cases are in my County right now. That's, like, that's, that's terrifying. I, like, the whole have, globe? like they've met in Memphis. Well, I know here in Tennessee in Memphis, at least, um, you have to wear a mask out. I mean, in businesses, if you're in the mall or wherever, Old Navy, wherever you're going. Yeah. And if not, the store can get fined a thousand dollars and you can get fined. That's how it should be, man. I mean, like I've been, I've been trying so hard, you know, I've been doing a really good job staying home and isolating and social distancing and I live alone. So it's tough. But like just yesterday, man, I didn't leave my house all day. I go to get food that I ordered from the street. There's like six dudes in my complex chilling on the stoop, not wearing masks, won't move. I have to walk through their little party to get my food. And my delivery guy won't walk through it because like, he's not allowed. He's got other Grubhub stuff to take. He's not allowed to walk through their party legally. Like, dude, I can't even leave my house without having yeah. to like come in with your COVID range. Like, come on, man, this mm -hmm. is crazy. So, yeah. but well, I, I, all, I that heard, being, uh... all that being said, right? That means that like, probably you won't be able to film other shows. Yeah. Big Brother's like the one show where like you, you have the the money and the means, you know what I mean? Whatever cast members have families that, that they're worried about, you don't fire them. You just say, like, come back next summer. The people who are single and have nothing to do with their lives, like me, you have them come, like, live on the CBS lot. For I mean, there. I don't know if anyone's taking a tour of CBS. There are actually, there's housing there. I mean, mm. on the lot, there's actual residences for, like, actors who are from other countries who are there and don't want to get a hotel or stuff. There's actual residences there. I think it's more for production and, and behind Listen, the scenes people. My man... But, there's there's ways to do this, and there's a lot of incentive yeah. for them to have any live programming. That's Absolutely, I mean, especially Big Brother because it's such an easy show to produce, and it, it fills three the hours only of television. show you can produce. Really, yeah, and, and it's three hours of television uh, a week instead of just one, like a regular series. And everyone yeah. else will be running reruns. Yeah, Listen, and like people were covering like Survivor. <laughs> <laughs> People are covering Survivor that would never cover Survivor because there's no sports right now, too. Like, I don't know if you noticed that, but like um, The Ringer and like sites that are like sports sites. Like I listen to a basketball podcast that's um, like an official NBA podcast and they just started doing Survivor podcasts and had Wendell on and shit like yeah. because they didn't have any content. It's like, what are we going to talk about on our show? Like a big brother would be worth it for CBS. It, mm -hmm. have, whatever they have to pay, whatever wheels they have to grease. I'm, I'm confident that they would find a way to make it happen. It's just, it makes too much sense. Well, I've, I've seen on Twitter, uh, and I don't want to name like who, cause I don't want to like out there sources or anything like that. Okay. But uh, there's, there's rumors about like the, the <laughs> cast being sequestered today uh, is when Ooh. they, and this is all just hearsay, of course. Um, so uh, definitely be checking people on social media to see like if they're quieter. Yeah, or, but there uh, could be people controlling their social media to throw too. you off their scent. I'm telling you. Well, and the what? counter to that is the Instagram live, right? But something yeah. I think nobody's thought about that, it, like, obviously this would be impossible probably, but like the next level inception is like, pre-record Instagram live with all the commenters being like fake accounts that are your family and friends. Like, Oh my God, King BB slay. You know what I mean? And you're like, no, I'm not on big brother and record that like two weeks before you leave. And then like have somebody drop it after the fact that's 3d chess, dude. That's or 4d chess. That's like the, 
yeah. the next level. I don't think anyone's thought of that, but like, I think you can like record an Instagram live and like drop it later or something like that. Right. Mm -hmm. And like, if the live mm -hmm. is private and you just have people in there that are like, you know, people are like in your circle, like, I don't know. That's thought. Yeah, that's true. Someone should make that play. Yeah. Oh, there's there's either way, dude, either way, you're going to have to go dark. I mean, you're going to have to go dark within the next week or two. There's no, yeah. yeah. And I really hope they do. We get it soon because if not, we're going to be picking another season to rewatch. <laughs> yep. I don't know what season I want to rewatch. And oh. I'll, uh, I'll go into hiding because I'll have no credibility. <laughs> yeah. whatsoever. I mean, dude, there are some people who are, it's crazy how bad some people want me to be a liar right now. Like it's, it's really scary. Oh, like, come for him. I, I dare you. I'm like, well, you know, like I get being skeptical, you know, it's, there's yeah. a lot of shit out here that tells you this is probably not real. And all I have to go on is like people I trust are telling me otherwise. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm not a, an expert. I don't necessarily know things other than the people I've made, you know, formed connections with over the years, being in LA covering big brother, that kind of shit. But like, I can't imagine being the, you know, some people, you know, it's like, you don't have any information. You don't know if I do or not, but you definitely don't. So yeah. like, why are you yeah. so sure? Like, okay. I don't know, whatever. It's funny. I just, um, I, again, like I said, ready for CBS to drop something. So I'm no longer like the, the face of this bullshit. Right. Like, I'm done with yeah. it. I'm just, <laughs> just going to put it think. out there. Cause like I follow Dan on Twitch. He said he has a special announcement coming Sunday. Um, so we don't know what that means either, but yeah. uh, if we get Dan 3.0, um, I, I don't I'm really, really care. Who <laughs> There's a so lot cool. of rumors that were floating. I'm glad like there were so many rumors floating around out there, even if some end up being like complete nonsense and stuff, because like some of the stuff I read, like I didn't know if that person was legit or not, but like I did read that rumor that they had like, they didn't like what they were getting. And then they upped the stipend from 20,000 to 40,000. And then all of a sudden, like the stuff with Dan appeared. And like, I don't know if that's true or not. That was just out there, but like, if true, I love that. Like, that's perfect. And also, if they're offering everyone 40 grand, they're not going to back out. They're going to make sure this happens. they're not going to waste that I'll money. I'll do right? it for 40 grand. I would oh, do it. We, for yeah. I'll do it for, for grand. I want to I vote, though, on something. My mask. Like, this is my mask. I like it. I just, I just want to know. Like, okay. So, do, do you like it? Yeah. Okay, do you so there's mine? two options. Is it Bane or is it Winter Soldiery? I think it's Bane. Uh, I think so too. You yeah. think it's Bane? I got mine. You think I sound like Bane? What does your say? Not, Not down, down with, with the sickness. sickness. Oh, is I that love a, it? I love that. <laughs> Where's, your Twitter? Where's yours, Tyler? Uh, it's in the other rooms. It's just a regular mask. It's not anything fancy like you guys. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've, fancy one? I felt like I needed to accessorize them. I wear it every day. I like the I like the funny mask. I got my parents one that says it's like the best dad joke ever. I got one that says this is the worst masquerade ball I've ever been to. <laughs> <laughs> How creepy are my eyes right now? Very creepy. Uh, a lot more creepy than they normally are. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know because that's all you see. Yeah. <laughs> um, but Alex, I'm I hope uh, to talk winter... to you about Big Brother. <laughs> talk about Big what, Brother. What if Bane is the new host of Big Brother instead of Julie Chen? Oh my God. <laughs> oh, I was wondering which would break first the house <laughs> or the cast. <laughs> <laughs> I love that it. would be awesome. Oh, I could do Bane voice all day. Dude. That's one of my, oh, that's one of my favorite so voices. I love voices. It. <laughs> um, but Alex, thanks again for talking uh, some Big Brother 22. Oh, with it's us. been I hope, fun, man. I hope Twitter uh, becomes normal again for you soon. Because <laughs> <laughs> every time I go on like, the Big Brother is. subreddit or like any kind of Patreon group, they're all saying your name. And I just hope that people aren't going like, I know how nuts like some Big Brother fans can be, so I hope that you're. Listen, it's you tough because yeah. it wouldn't be as tough if I wasn't like quarantined, living alone right now. You know, yeah. it's a lot because I'm all by myself dealing with it. But I'm gonna say it this. is what it is, man. I've I've got yeah. a big skin. It's it's all good. You come for Alex, <laughs> you're gonna have to deal with me too. Oh, and Tyler, does anybody want to deal with me? You're very sweet. I Literally appreciate nobody. you. Nobody. I love both, I love both you guys. You guys are great. Thank you, we thank will you. take care of it. You and just I'm going to uh, uh, just go ahead and throw out there because I guess we're we're probably wrapping up here, right? Like, yeah, I'm yeah, gonna yeah. I'm gonna do the um, podquester on Saturday. 
like I, I'm going to like cover the whatever the sequester minis on Saturday. I'm going to go on oh, with, perfect. Uh, with oh, TR, awesome. TR and Louie and those guys. So that'll awesome. be fun. So cool. Just, perfect. Just throwing that out there. So people yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody out. check out that. Podquester is yeah. really good with covering sequester stuff. Yeah, so yeah they're cool. I mean, really good. Um, so thanks for thanks everybody for joining uh, this uh, this shit show today. Uh, glad we got to hear like a little bit of Rennie, um, yes. but you know okay. what, what a what a legend. Even even all that was was totally worth it. To oh, the one thing we didn't talk about. This is a funny week because like this is the week that's like Jerry stops being a, a good thing for April and Ollie and starts being a damn bird. Yeah. Like oh, this third wheel. We're just trying to make out, and this old guy is just hanging around. Just so awkward. <laughs> <laughs> all right just had to touch on that yeah, yeah that's perfect <laughs> all right well uh we'll be back uh next week uh back to normal i think just the four of us next week so we can uh get back on track talking some big brother 10 um and uh yeah we'll see uh if we hopefully by this time next week we'll have like a promo and some oh, news on big brother 22 so and we don't um, have that much more big brother 10 do we i mean yeah I mean, we're on the downswing it's a double eviction next week so oh double eviction mm. oh and i wanted to say i have please subscribe to my weekly meltdown on youtube because you will get notifications when we go live and is podquester on youtube they are right Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Either that or Twitch. Yeah, and on Twitch. So subscribe to them so you can see Alex this weekend. Um, and you can follow uh, Tyler and Alex on their handles. I'm the Memphis, the dot Memphis dot darling on Instagram. And like us on Facebook, My Weekly Meltdown. Follow us on Instagram, My Weekly Meltdown. I, I'm going to venture. I don't know if I'm going to do this in a show or not. But I am like in the suburbs now and I live in like a real neighborhood with like real white people and like I am obsessed with white people problems when it comes to nextdoorneighbor.com like I'm on the freaking app and I get notifications and I'm been reading them and so I may do like reading complaints about dog shit in the yard and stuff you like do, that do you like an off-season show like ranting about <laughs> your neighbor problems because i feel like you oh, always have them. this guy was going this woman is karen whatever was going off about dog crap left on a walkway and i was just replied are you shitting me <laughs> now Very that was funny. the dog yeah i mean we got we've got Corona, we've got Black Lives Matter, we got things going on, people, and you want to bitch about a turd that I need a magnifying glass to see. <laughs> I can't, but it's fun. I love it. So I may do something like that. It might be fun. I may do it on Instagram Live is why I'm talking about it. I don't know. I may put it on here. I don't know. Anyway, that's enough. Enough. Watch Alex on Podcast on Saturday. We'll see you next week at 8, 7 Central. It's episodes 19 through 21. And then we're almost done. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Okay.